And just like that, we back with part two. Uh, shalom, beloved brothers. Welcome, welcome. We're back in part two here. Let's uh, do the YouTube stuff so they won't come after us. Copyright disclaimer. Under section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976, allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news, reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Non-profit educational personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. Viewer discretion is advised. Behind me, they're set up all along the valley. People cannot get back into those areas just yet. There is still fire burning in some of these communities. But on the other hand, there have been a lot of homes that are saved. So this is a story not only about devastating loss for some people here in the community, but also about some of these heroic efforts from firefighters. Around the clock, crews from all over the province are facing the front line of a fire still burning. Well, of course, then again, we do this all the time. The numbers are pretty much everywhere. First, uh, we will take uh, this. Oops, right there. There you go. We'll take uh, the truck number, which is number 75, engine 75, of course, uh, 7 plus 5. You know what to do. You know what's going on. Uh, those are messages being sent. Line of okay. A fire the angels are communicating with us. 35, you know what to do. 19, you know what to do. All those things are here. We see it. And we do know what they, what they mean. Okay. Uh, do your thing in the chart and the comment board. Let's keep on moving. I saw the firefighters from the night shift coming back. And they were black. And now a clear idea. <laughs> <of what laughs> <it is. laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, what is this? What is this officer name? Officer. I mean, they should give that guy a name, man. Oh man. Let's let's listen to this guy again. Province are facing the front line of a fire still burning. I saw the firefighters from the night shift coming back. Mm -hmm. And they were black. <laughs> yes, they were indeed and now black. At least Philippines are facing the front line of a fire still burning. I saw the firefighters from the night shift coming back, and they were black. <laughs> yes, yes, I mean, this is the. But on one the more time, one more time. There have been a lot of homes that are saved. So this is a story not only about devastating loss for some people here in the community, but also about some of these heroic efforts from firefighters. Around the clock, crews from all over the province are facing the front line of a fire still burning. I saw the firefighters from the night shift coming back, <laughs> and they were black. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> idea of what's been oh, man. Officials say West Kelowna and West Bank First Nation have been hit hard. Yes, they were black. Why? Hey, man, the fire, the suit, the smoke, the embers, all this stuff. The mighty one is not playing, you know. And uh, when you look at the whole area, there are so many things. Oops. Come on. Oh, boy. This, this thing. This thing is. There we go. There are so many things over here, and we like, look at this magic estate, uh, Kelowna. What does Kelowna mean? Define Kelowna. Here is some information about Kelowna. Kelowna is a city Kelowna. in the south of Canada's British Columbia province. Okay, but what does it mean? What does Kelowna mean? Grizzly bear. Hmm. According to BC Geographical Names, gov.bc.ca, Kelowna is in word meaning grizzly bear. Well, we know the bear, we encounter the bear here all the time, which is the Holy Spirit, representation of the Holy, Holy Spirit. I'm not telling our people to go out there and try to befriend a freaking grizzly bear so we can say, Big Leaf, I, I have uh, the Holy Spirit in my living woman. It's not doing too well for my husband. <laughs> I saw the Holy Spirit working outside the house, so I opened the door and I said, Holy Spirit, come in here and take off my husband for me because I want him to become no better. I want him to get into the truth. <laughs> right now, he's not even the ER. He's in the belly of the... 
please don't be calling me, man. Don't be calling me, big Levi. You know, you got to do something for me. And I'm not, you know, EMT, you're all room. And I'm not doing too well. But what do you mean? Well, remember that video that you did? You say the Holy Spirit is a grizzly bear? Uh, no, I did. Yes, you did, big Levi. No, I did. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. I was watching the video. You say, yes, the Holy Spirit is the grizzly bear. And I want to have the Holy Spirit upon me. So I bought that grizzly bear inside of my home. And it needed to turn out to do certain things unto me that I'm not too proud of. Okay? Now, because of this right now, and I'm waiting for you to send me that check to get another prosthetic leg. Because this one, the two that I have, well, one is not there. The other one is all chewed up. So it's your fault. Please be on the lookout for my lawyer's letters and stuff like that. I'll see you in court, Big Levi. Like hell I am. I never said the Holy Spirit was an actual grizzly bear. That's not what that is. I'm talking about spiritually speaking, symbolically speaking, analogously speaking. Okay? That's what that is. Because a, a, a bear, a, a mama bear, protect their children. Remember that video that we did two years ago about the bear crossing the little kids, the little cubs? That's what that is, okay? Let's keep on moving. At least 50 structures either completely destroyed or partially damaged. Five homes lost in Kelowna and two to three in Lake Country. Further north along the lake, homes also lost in Traders Cove up to Lake Okanagan Resort. It's emotional. Okay, look at this. Look at this. Among those figuring out his next steps. Okay, Peters, uh, uh, here we up go. To Lake That's a resort. Let me enlarge this right here. <coughs> Excuse me. That's a resort, man. The entire thing is burned down. And then you're going to sit there and say, wait a minute. This is a resort owned, probably owned by a millionaire, so to speak. Or a group of bunch of rich people that never get satisfied financially. Which can be broke too. And that thing is burned down to the ground. Are they really doing this to themselves? Well, they have to do this so they can bring, build a smart city. So, so they can bring the reset. There will be a huge reset. Okay, well... Who's gonna be in this reset? Well, when they do the reset, Big Levi, we're gonna be at the bottom, they're gonna be at the top. The elite gonna be at the top. Huh? So, who's at the top now? Huh? Who's at the top now? The American people. We are at the top now. So, what? Who's at the bottom? Well, you know, you know, the elite at the bottom now, they are suffering. They, they don't have any money and stuff like that. That's why they are using all that money. Wait, wait, your, your hitch doesn't make any sense. Please tell me who was at the bottom 400 years ago. Who was at the bottom doing Jacob's Trouble? Who was at the bottom in 1492? Those people were always on top of us when they come up on our land, and then now they're going down. That's what that is. Nagan Resort. It's emotional. <coughs> Trevor Peters is among those figuring out his next steps. His home near Okanagan Lake was burnt to the ground. Uh, I don't know where I'm yeah. going to be or go next. Uh, so I lost everything and uh, just trying to pick up from there day to day and... This is me and him. Some residents. Okay, so now you got this dude there. Okay, he lost everything except for the dog that he, he has. He saved his life. You know, he got out. Like, yo, man, this thing can burn down. Hey, I, I had a blessing come down. I can always rebuild and buy a home. But then again, when you look at the fellow, let me. Uh, let I don't me. know where I'm going to be or go next. Okay, so when you look at this dude, you know, he's like, I don't know where I'm going to be or going next, but I'm alive. I can always, I, yeah, I can, do, uh -huh, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. But other people went back, tried to save their home. They lost their home and they lost something else. Uh, so I lost everything and uh, just trying to pick up from there day to day and yep this is me and him some residents already know their home is gone because they saw it go up in flames on social media others okay. are look, look at this look at look at this home right there got this beautiful two-story home with the pool you know it's like it's like modern beautiful home expensive hish and then people are gonna say like well well yeah you you know those millionaires are doing this again big Levi, because they, they want to test this weapon that they're going to use on us doing Jacob's trouble. Look at this. That their property is safe, they can still see home cameras. But so much is still unknown, and assessment crews are now only beginning to move into the most dangerous neighborhoods. But we're moving into the areas where the fire burned hottest. Uh, There's a reason that guy said uh, the firefighters that went over there look black. That's his name. Tell the people who's in the midst. 
Chief Jason in the mist. The healer is in the mist. Remember, the healer was the first one that came in and said, there'll be no Jacob's trouble. Raphael, the archangel, is healing us. And he's not doing too, too well with this. With certain people, but anyway, Raphael is in the midst. Great glory. Let's keep on moving. Described it as a hurricane. Trees pushed over by their roots. Because that's what it was. That's what it was. They don't want to tell people that's exactly what it was, okay? Now, notice this, Virgin. Okay, look at those people trying to get food and things because everything is being burned down. Notice how they are not being humiliated. Notice now they are not being said, oh, those they are looters, which of course they are. Anytime things like that happen, they, they always they be people will be freaking looting the place. You know that they talk about this, we talk about that. You see how they don't humiliate those people, they don't call them names, they don't bring out, oh, well, you know, Kelowna is the demographic here is the, the, the 13 percent unemployed and drugs infested and all that. Thousands of people are still out of their homes and have no idea when they can go back. We heard some people talking about Friday, some people said three weeks, some people say a couple days. That many people know what's going on. And tonight could actually be quite a turning point with this weather. It's still incredibly smoky here right now. We can't see the sky, but it just got quite dark. And we just heard thunder from behind us and even some lightning. There is rain in the forecast for tonight. It's forecast to go into Wednesday. So hopefully that will help some of these efforts. But Mi Jung, once that smoke clears, we are going to get a much clearer idea of just how much damage has been done here. Yeah, and let's hope Mother <coughs> Nature can lend a helping hand tonight. Thank ah, you. Yeah, yeah. It won't make any difference. Because uh, you choose to call it that. Uh, that's all right. Uh, who cares? Then again, beloved, this is plague number two right here. Fiery conflagration of the nation. Uh, of the city. Hey, it's the fiery conflagration of the nation, of course. All right. Uh, define uh, conflagration. Here's the definition of conflagration. An extensive fire which destroys a great deal of land or property. All right, a great deal of land and property. There are so much going on. Let's keep on moving. Okay, this is in uh, California. See how the mudslide, you no, know, just stop everything because the because uh, the the soil were not. Look at this woman stop over there, man. Okay, because the the soil cannot absorb that much of a water too fast okay everything is being buried in mud okay and then uh got those guys trying to walk into this thing all right this is very very bad this is very very bad okay you think those people are like that you can you think this woman like oh this is fun Oh my God, I'm having so much fun in the mud. You think those people are like, oh man, this street just crashed into my property. And this is beautiful. Like, yo, I want this to happen all the time and every time. You think those people in that Ford right there, stuck in this mud, you, you think they love that? You think they like that? Hmm? You think they are doing this to themselves? You think if they find out, or they know for a fact the government is doing this, you think they will just go out there and on the internet and complain about conspiracy theories? Because they know the, the Most High God Almighty is in the midst of that. They know He is doing this. That's why. Okay? Let's keep on moving. Health officials say they found the listeria bacteria in one of the ice cream machines at the Frugal's restaurant behind me due to the machine not being cleaned correctly. The restaurant chain says it stopped all milkshake sales, but I spoke to a food safety attorney who says it may already be too late. The Frugal's drive through in Parkland is a favorite spot for Lorinda Royball to get something to eat before she heads home. I come here as, as often as I can when I come up here to work. Okay. So I just got off work and I was heading there to eat. But today she was surprised to learn that the restaurant is ground zero of a deadly bacterial outbreak. The Washington State Department of Health announced on Friday that listeria was found in the ice cream machines in the restaurant. The agency says all milkshake flavors have been contaminated with the bacteria due to the machines not being cleaned correctly. So far, six people have been hospitalized, five people in Pierce County and one person in Thurston County, and three have died. Listeria has found sort of this ecological niche. And so it grows really well. 
in cool, wet environments like refrigeration, refrigerators, refrigeration. And that's why you see these outbreaks pop up in things like cheeses, deli meats, bag salad. And unfortunately, we've seen them far too often. Yeah, I try to blame the restaurant for the plague, man, you know. Trying to sue this restaurant because of a plague that, you know, out there. Well, the machine was not clean properly. Yeah. Whatever, dog. Whatever you say, dog. It's plague number three. Number four, where is the pestilence? Pestilence and hunger will change the destructions, which is plague number eight. Okay. All right. Uh, there is a fire. Somebody just takes me. Uh, fire in South Jersey. Okay. Yeah, there's a fire in South Jersey uh, a day ago. Uh, I don't really get to the, you know, the fire department because they can strike you. Um, uh, there was a car fire in Jersey, a wildfire two months ago. And uh, and a year ago, there was a massive wildfire in South Jersey. And people don't bring that up, you know. People don't bring those things up because they like, oh, the, the, the elite is doing this... Uh, let me put wild, wild, oops, ah, come on, wild fire in South Jersey, let's bring the, uh, the date down, see what's going on here, a day ago wildfire burned 12,000 12, acres, this is CBS Philadelphia, um, let's let's take this one and see what's going on because they don't talk about that. That's in New and Jersey. Now to the battle against a raging wildfire in South Jersey. Right now, the flames have grown to 600 acres in size and are only about 10 percent contained. Started burning in the Wharton State Forest yesterday afternoon and continues to spread. Caroline Goggin from our sister station WPBI joins us live from Camden County with the story. Caroline, good afternoon. Good afternoon, you guys. Crews are staging here at the old Atco Dragway in South Jersey this afternoon as they continue to try to contain this wildfire. They tell us 600 acres have burned so far, and they believe hundreds more will burn as they work to contain the flames. Crews in New Jersey are working to contain a wildfire in Camden and Burlington counties. They say 600 acres have burned so far and that the fire is 10% contained. We'll be here for a few days looking at the extended fire weather forecast. There's very little precipitation in the near future. Officials say the dragway wildfire has impacted Wharton State Forest and Jackson Road in Waterford Township. Today, forest fire service crews will utilize a backfire operation, which means they will intentionally set a fire along the inner edge of the fire line in an effort to change the direction of it. Jay Wyatt with the state's forest fire service says this needs to be done. So this fire started in a very, very remote area. Our apparatus could not make access to the fire. Okay. Uh, we made access to the fire on foot. But because we can't get any bulldozers or on any of our fire apparatus to the fire, we kind of have to bring it out to a safe place to contain it. Wyatt says 50 firefighters with 15 apparatus are out working right now. At this point, no buildings in the area have been threatened and no evacuations have been made. The only impacts to people who live or work around here are road closures and smoke. I'm sure that with the wind shift, smoke is going to turn and uh, blow out of the north, which is going to impact more people than it is impacting now. And speaking of the impacts to people, there is a road closure in this area. It is Jackson Road right by the old dragway. That is closed right now as crews continue to try to contain this wildfire. At this point, they say the cause of it is still under investigation. Of course, of course, it's still under investigation. This is in South New Jersey, man. Okay, what did it take for it to get to New York, you know? Um, let me see. With wildfire becoming prevalent everywhere, some kind of system should be uh, developed to combat them. So people are notice that, okay? One of the possible system is a series of sprinklers installed around the properties and attached to a system of water tanks. Uh, whatever. So sad. Oh my God. God of Lord, please put a hand and put all those fires out. None. No. They are watching. They know that, okay? Who said it? Otra mas para hacer noticias. Noticias. All planned. It's always planned. 
All right, there are so much wildfire. It's pretty much everywhere, Bridget. They don't talk about it. I didn't even know that until somebody, a sister over there in New York, sent me a, a text message say, "Hey, this is everywhere. It's everywhere, dog. You know, crazy. Let's keep on moving." It started with a 911 call. A teenager whispering he was hiding in a closet. I heard two gunshots downstairs in my pants room. Police raced to the house and were shocked to find Don and Antonio Armstrong in their bedroom with fatal gunshot wounds to the head, pillows over their faces. Antonio was well known in Houston. He was a former NFL linebacker for the San Francisco 49ers turned motivational speaker. I want you to pick back up those visions and those dreams that you once had. But within hours of making the gruesome discovery, cops say the son who called 911 came under suspicion. They say he committed the ghastly act of parricide, murdering his own parents. The motive? Cops say he lashed out because his parents disciplined him over his slipping grades, smoking in the house, and other issues. AJ. Yeah, so that's what happened, man, when, you, uh, <clears throat> when your parents strike certain deals, when they get involved with certain people, certain, certain luxury they enjoy. So... That was the payment, so hey, that's what happened. Jay Armstrong was released on bail pending trial. He was interviewed by reporter Courtney Fisher of KTRK in Houston. Did you kill your parents? No. Of course no. Tears rolled down his face as he told how much he missed his parents. Just to have that again, just like just five minutes if that's what it was, just, just to have that again with my mom, my dad, just that's all I want. He was poised, he was very polite, confident, as he of has course. been throughout. The case dragged on. Two trials ended in hung juries. I think the bottom line is, it's really hard for people to understand why a 16-year-old would shoot and kill his parents in the middle of the night. Finally, seven years later, a third trial was held. We, the jury, find the defendant, Antonio Armstrong Jr., guilty of capital murder. A lot has happened to A.J. Armstrong since he made that 911 call at age 16. He's now 23 years old, and he's married. He and his wife, Kate, have a son. She wept as the verdict came down, and no wonder. He was sentenced to life in prison. As soon as he could get out of prison would be in 2063, after 40 years. <laughs> That's what happened, man, you know, a... Hey. Certain things happen, and uh, you know, dude got pissed off. Tell me, I I can't smoke in there, and then you know, I gotta get good grades. I'm gonna murder both of you and call the police and say, I don't know, another black dude did this. That's what happened, dog. Uh, you know, hey, I remember that stuff happened seven years ago. So, yeah, hey, great glory, man. Let's keep on moving. And as those wildfires continue to rage, we are reaching out and speaking to one resident who has fled the region. A friend of the show, Todd Talbot, is joining us live over the phone this morning. Good morning, Todd. Good morning, Tammy. Uh, we are so sorry uh, to hear about how it's affected you and, of course, thousands of others. Todd, uh, we, we know you as uh, the co-host of uh, Love It or List It. You just came in here on BT to guest host not too long ago. And while you were here, you were showing such passion for A-Frame, which was a home that you were building in West Kelowna. Tell mm -hmm. us about what happened there. Well, it, it all happened really quickly. Thursday, there was obviously fires in the region. There was smoke in the air. Um, Thursday, late afternoon, um, I'd suggested that Rebecca take our two kids to Vernon and get away from the smoke a little bit. Um, around 7.30, friends across the lake were texting okay. me photos right. as, the, as the fire. Let me just uh, mute this one. And now look at the homes being burned down. For the past few days or few months, we've been watching those beautiful homes and multi-million dollar houses are being burned down. Not only the owners are well known, they work for the news station. Remember that other dude we were talking about, he was in Maui, in Lahaina on a vacation, and he had to evacuate, and one of his people, I'm not quite sure, did not make it or something happened to them. 
And I remember that guy, his sister-in-law, the home burning down. And then this fellow, this guy, he, he suffered pretty much the same thing. Okay, those are home being burning down, multi-million dollar homes, right? Okay, this is no joke, man. Okay, this is no joke. It's time to pay the piper, time to pay for what your ancestors have done. Okay, and all those things is reminiscent of Black Wall Street, man. That's that's what it is. You people, you people done a lot. And of course, you guys are going to say, well, that wasn't me. That wasn't my ancestor. That was like, I don't even know those people. I came in, my ancestor came from Europe. Yeah, after they destroy our people over there in Europe, the blessing is done in Europe. They come down here and destroy our people here. Okay? And then like, oh, well, I didn't know those people. But well, you benefit from it. That's why, that's the payment right there. So everything is being taken away from you again. Okay, that's not the worst. That's not the worst. What's going to happen, beloved? <clears throat> you see how those people are coming after Biden because whenever something happened to them, they really don't care. For instance, the whole thing that happened in Ohio, East Palestine, the, the people didn't care. And then the whole thing happened in Lahaina, they did not care. Oh, let me stop. They didn't care. And then the people are coming after them and say, hey, man, why why you guys don't care about us? And the moment somebody um, cough over there in Ukraine, you guys are sending all the money over there. What seems to be the issue? Are we not the American people? So um, are we now becoming the blacks? Hmm? Why are we being treated like this? Because they can't tell them why. They're just like, no comments. What's going to happen is, is when those people start to start to really seeing things coming out of the sea, they really start going to see things coming out of the sky. They will see certain people that don't look like them, certain people that they, you know, somewhat mistreated and they will have certain superpowers or whatever that you want to call it, magic or the abnormal, uh, supernatural things will happen and then they will run to their church they will say what the hell you guys did who are those people really who are them why are they are able to do this type of stuff what did you guys do to them you, you guys make me worship the one god and they're going to come after the so-called those pastors the popes and all that as you can see the popes are the pope is very quiet okay the christians are very quiet out there you don't see people say ah I, I saw this fire in one of my dream. God come and say this fire was going to happen over there in, in uh, what is it? Uh, in, 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 in British Columbia and stuff. I saw it in the dream. Jesus saw it to me. No, because British Columbia has nothing to do with Trump. Of course, there could be a lot of people, you know, loving Trump country over there, but has nothing to do with politics because uh, their their prophecies a hundred percent purely. Political. That's what Pat Robertson did unto you. And all the other scumbags. Okay, they they misdirect you. Okay, they, they miseducated you. They did that on purpose because they took her off. They signed. They took a vow. Okay, so that's what happened here, beloved. Let's keep on moving. Oh, how long we are into this thing? Ooh. Okay. Tonight, as the tropical storm season heats up with a new storm battering Texas, Southern California is still feeling the effects of its rare encounter with the tropical storm over the weekend. Since then, rescuers have been focused on reaching people in mountain communities who have been cut off by washed out roads, rescuing many trapped in homes and cars by mud, debris and rising floodwaters. Crews resorting to using the bucket of a bulldozer to lift residents of a care home to safety. Tropical storm Hillary barreled through the region, dumping record amounts of rain. Idaho and Montana, along with Oregon and Nevada, all broke rainfall records. Hmm. Nevada measuring over nine inches. Hmm. And now tonight, parts of South Texas getting drenching rains after tropical storm Harold came ashore today on South Padre Island. Right. And there is brewing trouble in the Caribbean tonight as well. Erin McLaughlin has the very latest. Tonight, tropical storm Harold makes landfall in southern Texas, bringing heavy wind and rain. As some in Southern California are digging themselves out of the mess, tropical storm Hillary left behind. After record rainfall, flooded streets and blanketed entire communities in sludge. 
sad that we have to go through all of this. The round the clock cleanup continues. Oh. In the San Bernardino National Forest, a harrowing search and rescue operation now underway. After a let massive just, mudslide, uh, just, after record rainfall, flooded streets and blanketed entire communities in sludge. Okay, all right, those those homes are being destroyed. Right? This is not it's pretty. Sad that we have to go through all. All right, of course, we know the church, I mean, the shirt champion, we know what that stands for, and those homo destroy, man. And, and they, what they did, they did not tell the people, this is going to be really bad because it's actually a hurricane. They're like, ah, man, this is not a hurricane. It's, it's, like, it's, like, it's like a storm, and California's too dry. They need this rain. No, they don't. Not that rain. They need rain, but not that. They need the rain to come gradually. And so the soil will adapt and be able to absorb the the um, the water. When the tro when the soil is too dry and the water coming too fast, it's just seal it. It make it like a concrete. It just like seal it, make it smooth, and then the water just running with all the dirt it can find, and boom. All of this. The round the clock Look cleanup this, continues. In the San Bernardino National Forest, a harrowing search and rescue operation now underway after a massive mudslide barreled down the mountain. It okay, completely look at this. wiped out this bridge, cutting off a small community just over that way, home to the only person missing from Tropical Storm Hillary. Hmm. That community now covered in mud. A source tells NBC okay. News. So this is like a beautiful off grid community. Okay, and I'm in the middle of the forest, beautiful trees, nice, you know, beautiful. Yeah. Crazy. The search for the missing woman now underway. Hmm. Scariest thing in my whole life. Up the road, resident Stephanie Noyes and her dogs were rescued today after being stranded for more than 48 hours. How'd you get the word out that you needed help? Uh, you know, I found out earlier, I went out to the river out there and had a white towel and when the helicopter came over, I started going like that and I guess they came back and told them if there was somebody to rescue. Meanwhile, near Palm Springs, relief. Thank God. Can you stay by us? Hmm. After firefighters hmm. rescued the elderly using construction equipment. Okay, this is the technology, all right? This is the technology. Okay, those people always claim that they can control the weather, the government can control the weather, or the elite can control the weather, when in fact they can't. This is the technology, okay? Loader or bulldozer or helicopter with bucket stuck under them, that's it. They should have evacuated those elderly a day or two ago, but hey. Sinkholes back there. There's st still standing mud of up to five feet. All right, let's look at this dude name right there. Oops. Construction equipment. There's sinkholes back there. There's st still standing mud. All right, what is this dude name? Tell us who's in the miss, man. <clears throat> Boy, what time is it for me right now? Oh, 11.57. It's going to be midnight for me while I'm recording this. It's 11.57. 58. How long I am, how long we are into this thing, it's 33 minutes. I might cut my losses there. Pretty tired, mostly. I'm incredibly hungry. But anyway, so Chief Michael Contreras. What's Contreras mean? It is contract or contrary? Translate Contreras. According to Wikipedia, Contreras is a Spanish surname of toponymic origin for from the surrounding area. From the surrounding area. You can't make this up, man. <laughs> You can be Michael from the <laughs> Michael from the surrounding area. You can make this up, man. I'm not making this up, dog. I, this is not just I'm, I'm. I didn't pay this dude. It just mean Michael, okay, from the surrounding area. And what did Michael did to the surrounding small community area with that flood? 
You can't make this up, man. You, you really can't. Beautiful, beloved. Give the mighty one great praise, good glory in the chat room, man. Come on, give the mighty one praise and glory. I was going to stop here, but I'm going to continue and make it uh, make make it to all the tabs. And then uh, just going to get a small meal in the middle of the night. And I'll just, uh, not gorging myself, but... Uh, yeah, yeah, sir. Yeah, yeah, that, 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 that could be some uh, you know, gluten is seen over there. But anyway, let's, let's keep on moving. Of up to five feet. That is new video released shows this Alaska Airlines flight making a dramatic landing in Orange County during the height of the storm. Sparks flying from the landing gear. There's sparks outside. The cause is still being investigated. Meanwhile, of course it a is. threatening emergency at a Los Angeles hospital. We had 241 patients that were actually impacted by this power outage. After the backup generators failed, firefighters desperately evacuated patients, some critically ill. A woman gave birth to a healthy baby girl under the glow of flashlights. Wow. And we had a whole lot of them, um, and the baby's fine. Tonight, as California recovers, no relief for Texas after Mother Nature's relentless onslaught. And Aaron, you're close to that isolated community in Southern California. Are there still rescues going on? Yes, Lester, that's what we understand, that they've been rescuing people by helicopter. In fact, I've been listening to the sound of a chopper not far from here. As hmm. for this road, they say it'll take weeks, if not months, to repair. Ah. Aaron McLaughlin starting us off. Aaron, thanks. Let's bring in Bill. Okay, so let's keep on moving. Those people trying to tell you this thing is all natural, is all like, oh, man, it's because climate change. It's just like we are, we, we are you know, Fat guys are farting so much in the atmosphere and killing all of us, man. And they're doing and enslave those guys and then plug up their butts so they won't do this nonsense. Yeah, whatever, dog. This is Esau's trouble. This is the Gentiles' tribulation. This is Psalm 83. All right, what you see here, you see, you know, sorrow from much needs and, of course, Thunder voices, which is mean the weather and all that stuff. Okay, let's keep on moving. The aftermath of tropical storm Hillary. Recovery efforts are now underway in the southwest after mudslides and flash floods. Hmm. Rob Marchena is in Cathedral City, California. Good morning, Rob. Hey, good morning, Jordan. It is oh, wow. still a mess Cathedral. across in California, especially here in the Palm Springs area. Cathedral City really getting hit hard with flood and mud, a lot of mud. I mean, look at these streets. It looks like a, a mud snowstorm came through here. We've seen several cars try to get through. Some get stuck. Some need help from, from their friends. And uh, it's just difficult to get around this area. Public Works telling us it's going to take several more days before they can clear out this neighborhood. Hmm. Overnight, the massive cleanup efforts underway after tropical storm Oof. Hillary soaked the southwest. Overtaking towns, causing mudslides and swamping vehicles. Who has flood insurance in a desert? Flash flooding <laughs> in Cathedral City. <laughs> in the I agree with this fellow, with this little woman right there. I agree with her. Overtaking towns, causing mudslides and swamping vehicles. Who has flood insurance in a desert? Who indeed? Who indeed? Now, that's the thing. That's how the Holy One gets you. Like, yo, I'm going to stay in the desert or far away from civilization, live off grid. You know, nothing going to happen to me. But it seems like all the hell will keep happening off grid only. But anyway, let's go on moving. Flash flooding a cathedral city near Palm Springs, submerging neighborhoods and piling up feet of mud. This man shoveling, trying to free up his truck. Emergency crews rescuing stranded drivers, bringing out people covered in mud. We did 46 rescues. We are now moving from the rescue phase mm -hmm. to now the recovery phase. There's sinkholes back there. There's still standing mud of up to five feet. More than a dozen people in assisted living facilities stranded by the mud. Seniors carried out okay. in heavy equipment for rescue. These poor people are terrified. Seniors in the assisted living facility. Okay, look at this. All right. First yes. responders it's it's really bad. Big front loader. The damage a result of record rainfall in the region. This historic storm, the first to hit Southern California since 1997. Ah. Death Valley getting over two inches of rain Sunday, breaking the all-time record for the wettest day in history. <laughs> Surveillance video showing powerful flood water moving clothing racks clear across the room. 
And as the tropical storm moved through the southwest, communities from the Pacific coast to inland Nevada affected. Tens of thousands losing power. <laughs> Businesses and schools across Southern California closed. Over a thousand airline flights canceled. <laughs> If there's any bright spot with Hillary is that no American lives were lost. We're still dealing with it in some capacity across parts of the Pacific Northwest. Check it out. Flood watch is up for parts of Oregon and Idaho. A little bit of wind with this as well. But we're really now watching tropical. Well, that's that's tropical what? Harold? Storm Harold, which is formed in the Gulf of Mexico overnight and getting very close to the Texas coastline, just about 100 miles out now, moving there very, very quickly. Uh, anyway, so what's what's going on here what's happening here beloved is the judgment upon the loin of the other nation they refuse to acknowledge who we are and they refuse to tell the truth which they have no business of doing so we have to acknowledge who we are and let the whole world know that the reason why all those things are happening because we've been mistreated we are the true children of the light we we deserve justice and this is judgment this is punishment and retribution for the things that have been done unto us and this is nothing comparing to what's coming whatever they were talking about jacob's trouble trouble or race war it's being done right now unto them all right a lot of people say well no life loss no american life was lost of course not but you lost your home you don't have insurance in a desert, yet your house is flooded. See, all those things are going to put stress on a lot of people. And then you're going to hear, mm, far not to distance future, let's say two, three months from now, you're going to hear a lot of 988 being dialed because not everybody are, would say, mentally capable to deal with this stress. Because our people were built for stress, man, but not you folks. You folks been living for 500 years in luxury, and then suddenly now uh, you're in a situation like that. That's not good. Okay, that's not good. So anyway, dog, let's keep on moving. How long we are? Okay, so that's the. Tropical storm Harold made land. All right, that's the, I don't like. Um, I don't like the robotic thing. Let's keep moving. Well, tropical storm Harold is moving inland after yeah, making yeah. landfall in Padre Island, Texas, just south of Corpus Christi. Harold is packing some powerful. For some wind. for some reason, don't you see it weird that the storms are making landfall in Cathedral and Padre Island? You know. Padre or Father, Cathedral, the Priest of Mahan, the Catholic, the Catholic Church. We've made a few changes. Have you seen that uh, Cristobal, the explosion in St. Cristobal, which is in St. Christopher, Columbus, uh, the, the storm landed in ca Cathedral, and it landed in Padre. A lot of weird coincidence here, but let's keep on moving. And it's dumping buckets of rain in that region. ABC's Maria, or Maria Virial now joins me from Corpus Christi for more. Maria, what can you tell us? Here in Corpus Christi, we actually have caught a little bit of there a break go. as tropical storms. And again, in Corpus Christi, which means the, the body of Christ, if I'm not mistaken. All right, let's uh, translate uh, Corpus Christi. Uh. Corpus, corpus, corpus. Ah, corpus is Latin. Translate Corpus Christi. According to yeah. Wikipedia, <coughs> Corpus Christi may refer to Feast of Corpus Christi, a Christian solemnity which honors the institution of the Holy Eucharist. Okay, um, we tonight we just studied the, well, last night we just studied the Eucharist. When they're talking about the body of Christ, they are not talking the actual body. When he say, take it, for this is my body. He's talking about the element that is in the body. Because that was an initiation, what they were doing. Okay, he's not talking about the actual body, but the element. He was giving the other brethren around the table the power over the four elements. Which is the head, fire, the chest, air, the belly, water, 
and the legs and the bottom rest is earth you know the control over the four element and that's why the four element is destroying padre okay the island of padre and cathedral and corpus christi all those uh, catholic places that have catholic names and, and things like that inquisition names they are being destroyed okay Carol continues to move inward into the southern part of Texas. Now, earlier when it made landfall, right around 10 then in the again, morning, we got... Then again, when you look at this, you look at Victoria, okay? Another word, you know what Victoria stands. But Corpus Christi, Victoria, and I'm assuming this is Brownsville. I can't see it, but anyway, let's keep on moving. Victoria. Definitely saw the dirty side of the storm kind of oh, yeah, whip around yeah. and hit us here in the Corpus Christi area. We had very Oof. high winds. We had a lot of rain coming through, and that was pushing a lot of storm surge closer to the Bay Area. Uh, right now, uh, officials in this city and, and surrounding areas are extremely concerned about the amount of rain that's coming through right now and the fact that it has been so dry over the summer in this region. When you have excessive rain coming through so quickly, it definitely accumulates on the ground and causes some flooding. So right now, local city leaders are asking people, if you don't have to be out in this <laughs> kind of weather right don't now, get try and stay home. There were a number of schools that did actually delay their start, but nothing was canceled, no evacuations. The good thing about this storm, though, is that it is moving so quickly and it is pushing its way through uh, in South Texas. It should possibly be in Laredo, the Del Rio area by later on this evening or afternoon. Um, the shifting of concern has gone from the flooding to possible tornadoes in the hmm. area. So right now, experts are monitoring that very closely as oh it continues tornadoes. to hit this part of Texas. Wow. Kira? All right, Maria, thank you so much. Tornadoes. In the midst of all that, great glory. Let's keep on moving. All right, there you go. A small town in Minnesota dealing with fallout after every police officer there simply walked off the job. The police chief resigned last week after asking for better wages and increased recruitment efforts. The mayor says the former chief and another officer will step in until the county sheriff's office can take over. Ah, good stuff. Late news tonight starts with breaking news in Siskiyou County. Just look at this video. The head fire is moving fast <laughs> and forcing evacuations. It was started by lightning and has now burned at least 4,000 acres. Ooh. Thankfully, no one has been hurt, but the fire fight continues as we speak. So stay with ABC 10 for updates on air and online at abc10.com. Yep, fire started by lightning. Great glory. So what's the latest with the typhoon in Japan? Yes, hi, good morning from Tokyo. We're actually a bit further away from the center of the typhoon, so we aren't seeing much impact here, uh, just, with some light, just with some light rain. However, in central Japan, uh, it's a different story. The typhoon did make landfall this morning near Osaka, which is the largest metro second largest metropolitan region in Japan. Um, authorities have warned about heavy rains, flooding, potential mudslides, and advised some residents to evacuate. They're seeing winds of over 100 kilometers per hour here as well. Um, the transportation has been impacted. Uh, Japan Airlines and ANA has um, announced over 500 flight cancellations affecting uh, you know, tens of thousands of passengers. Some of the operators of the high-speed trains here have also suspended <laughs> service on parts of the line in the region for the day as well. Ah, what a report. Thank you for the typhoon in Japan. And again, Bridget, people... The word typhoon is another word for hurricane, okay? And it's in Japan, it's in China, it's over here, it's over, it's, it's in Brazil, it's in the Caribbean, it's in Russia, it's all over the world. Fires, and the hurricanes, the tornadoes, and the earthquakes, and all that. And people can't, can't see this, man. <laughs> people are just like, oh, did you see Shikari Jackson or Richardson? Yo, I don't give a crap about some women running and stuff like that. What, what the hell do you want me to do about this? Oh, well, you have to be big if you got to watch this, this issue over there. You know, it really do matter to all people. No, it doesn't. Let's keep it moving. As brush fires keep firefighters busy across Southern California, Cal Fire and other agencies have a message. Wow, this guy name is JC Pagan. And uh, it's Carlo Chiqueto. 
You know, they, lo they love calling us pagan. Oh, you're a pagan because you, you do numerology. Uh, you study the Kabbalah. Uh, you study magic. You're a pagan. You're going to hell because I say so. Yeah, yes, 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 yes. All right, then. Tonight for drone operators. They are warning them not to interfere with firefighting operations. CBS 8's Brian White is live at Cal Fire headquarters tonight to explain why this is such a big deal. Brian. That's right, Cal Fire reiterating that message, warning of the dangers that drones can present not only to firefighting aircraft, but to their ability to knock down a fire in those first crucial minutes before it gets out of control. It might be good to get that, that video and that, that content for social media, but it's very dangerous and it's illegal, so we ask that yeah. you don't do that. CAL FIRE WARNING OF THE DANGERS TO FIREFIGHTERS IN THE AIR AND ON THE GROUND BECAUSE DRONE OPERATORS ARE NOT COORDINATED UNDERNEATH THE AIR TACTICAL SUPERVISOR WHO'S IN CHARGE OF THE AIRSPACE. THE AIRPLANES AND uh, the, THE TANKERS, THEY CAN go AS LOW AS 150 FEET WHEN THEY'RE DROPPING THEIR WATER AND RETARDANT. AND THAT'S ABOUT THE uh, HEIGHT THAT THE HOBBYISTS uh, LIKE TO FLY AT. DISPATCH DID IT 306. FIRE CAPTAIN MICHAEL CORNETT WITH CAL FIRE SAN ah. DIEGO STRESSING THE RISK AND Michael Cornett. Michael always in the mix, man. Don't fly your drone in a fire zone. Mess with my job, man. But it's already 12.15 a.m. I'm getting, I'm running low on energy, but let's keep on moving. Well, how long we are into this thing? All right, then got nine more minutes left. That's good. That's good. That's good, that's good. Let's, let's keep on moving. Of housing, Maui fire victims are taking to social media, calling out investors and real estate agencies who are offering to buy their land just days after wildfires burned down their homes. Fox 26 News reporter Sophia Lesios is here now to explain why Hawaiians are furious with companies who they say are preying on them following the tragedy. Sophia? <laughs> Liz, many Hawaiian natives are advocating online and encouraging homeowners to not sell their properties to companies. And instead, they're telling people to gather as much information as they can to shame blast real estate agents on social media. Please don't leave. We're going to figure this out. Many Hawaiian natives, including Tiara Lawrence, have been advocating for Maui natives since the beginning of the devastating wildfires. Uh. She's furious with companies who are now reaching out, offering to buy native land. How dare you do that to our community right now? Lawrence says she's heard from multiple families who were contacted by agents in the last week. Shame on you. Shame on you. So this is what they used to do our people, okay? They burned down Blackwall Street, burned down all our they burned down the whole country. They took out our lane everywhere and then um and they when we try to build stuff they will say words like this shame on you, they try to shame you and our people we you know, we were like, Oh man, I don't wanna get this shame, man. I wanna do what they told me to do. And a lot of you people over there are not native of this land. That's why you're being wiped off. You masquerade yourself as the native, but you're not the true native. A lot of you kind of look like us, but you are not us. And that's why you're being wiped out over there. You know, and that's why the mighty one is doing this, what he is doing. But then again, I don't want to go too deep into this because one conspiracy theory is too, I'm way too tired. All right, this is in Japan, all right? This is in Japan. Okay, so that's wildfire. That's not in Japan. That's in Spain, uh, Tenerife. We talk about this. Okay, this is in Tenerife. We talk about this. The wildfire is still going on over there in Spain. For those of you who may not know. Okay, beloved. Jews and Gentiles alike, man. You just sit there and then you're watching the fire going on everywhere in Spain, in Canada. And Portugal and Algeria and France and um, Russia and Africa and South America and Canada and New Jersey and everywhere well except for the Caribbean and uh, certain key places but mostly everywhere the fire is burning out 
that means something is going on. These men cannot do this. Men were never able to do something like that. Men don't like to mess with his own blessing. Men don't like to mess with his own peace. They like to mess with other people's peace. And when we say other people, we're talking about our people. As long as they can mess with our peace, they're good. They like to do wars because it's a big money maker. They make a huge war. And they make a lot of money, okay? This is in Frankfurt Airport, Germany, okay? Make a lot of money, and then they keep making money by making wars because that's how they make money. They love wars. But they don't like wars being raged upon them by the Heavenly Father, okay? So all those things that you are seeing here, you got look at how you know the water trying to this this thing try to break the windows. This is a Frankfurt, Germany. It's an airport. It's the, the the glass is is a crack. Okay, look look at all this thing. You think the German are doing this to themselves? You think they like uh, ground their own airport? This guy stuck in the car. You know he can't get out. Okay, just stuck in there. You know he just waited until he can get out. You know get rescued. Woof. Ooh. Oh, man, come on. Don't do this, Bridget, okay? Don't do that. That's not good, all right? You can't damage your car. Okay, look at the water with full strength coming out of this place like that. You think those people love that? You think this is fake? You think the elite are doing this? You think the so-called German are doing that to their own people, to their own country, to their own airport? You think that's what that is? Nah, man. This thing is being done by the Heavenly Father. So-called Gentiles, they have no power to control the weather. Look at this. Okay, this is in Japan, all right? All right, this dude. And look at this truck on his side being both. Look at this, ripped off cars, tumbling. Okay, this is in Japan, man. All right, this is no joke, son. This is no joke. Look at this. All right, so great glory, man. Let's keep on moving. Deb Yost, known as Miss Deb to the students she takes to and from school, is going into her ninth year as a bus driver. Yeah, I think last year was the worst. The worst when it comes to the number of her co-workers. There simply were not enough, and it's happening again. But why? I can't answer that. I have no clue. That is the, that's the hardest question to answer. Um. Matt Albaugh is the vice president of Schultz Transportation. That's the company Deb works for. Schultz is once again offering bonuses to new drivers and for referrals. It's also still paying to get new drivers trained. It raised pay for drivers last year and has added another dollar an hour this year, making it 19 for regular hours and up to 23 for working extra. Part of the problem, though, may be that all of the jobs are only part-time. I have my own business at home. But that's a plus for Madeline Candelario, who is applying to become a driver. I have kids, so it's like a flexible job, flexible schedule. There are also a handful of people who work out of the office here, and all of them have to be trained to drive a bus as well. And last year, almost all of them actually ended up behind the wheel. I was out driving, Mike the president was out driving. Hmm. Everyone had driven at least once during the school. So let me ask you something. Since when 83, the guys, the folks that like to stay in the office and give orders to our people in the sun, and uh, since when they do that? Since when they work in the office and then actually r drive a bus and become drivers? You see, those people want to make it seems like oh it happening because most people are working from home online to cover yeah of well, course you can't drive the bus online online to cover and stuff no a lot of those folks that used to ride or drive the bus they are no more you see the plague took those people out and they don't want to say things like that and our people are not interested. What that thing is? Um, oh, boy. In what county? School bus driver shortage on going challenge in many districts. But where? Is it in Florida? Uh, Susquehanna Valley Districts. Um, Lancaster County. Hmm. I'm not quite sure where that is. Is it West Virginia, Georgia? But anyway. So... The reason why, beloved, a lot of them are no more, man. And they are not 
making this thing attractive. Start giving $200 an hour. <laughs> Give $200 an hour, full time. Whether there is no school or no or get school, people are still paying. And you will make, a lot of people will come there and work. But paying people like this, man, and then bagging up all the money. Now those people are working, dog. They are feeling what we used to felt. They are working in the office and then they're working outside. Double. All right. We're pretty much done. Okay. Um, this is the Google map. And um, boy, we're supposed to make another video about this on my other channel. Talking about the, the Sulanuf. Okay. The sea monsters. And uh, the the mermaids, the the warriors that we have in the sea protecting the the coats. Uh, that's why those people could not get here. Uh, the the leviathans, the double holes, whales with the twisted tails. Okay, uh, the beautiful mermaids uh, with the technology of the mirror in their hands and protecting the sea for us. All right, that's when those people could not get to our land. All right, they could not get to our land. And you got this giant monkey like this is very weird when I'm watching this. There's a giant monkey like creature in the middle of the sea eating a fish. You know, like what the hell is this? Is this the behemoth? Is this is this the actual Sulanuf? Because it looked like a more like a human being. You know, crazy, crazy. Uh, we're going to go to another video to my other channel detailing and going to endeavor into this. We talk about that. But before. first tonight, we continue tracking the devastating fire on Block Island, destroying the Harbor Side Inn. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Sheena Loshudo. The hotel is located right on Water Street, okay. and it really hotel is fire. one of the first things you see coming off of the ferry. Several businesses were also impacted. Okay, hotel fire and stuff, but this one. A feisty 98 year old lady gives cops a piece of her mind as they raid her house for evidence. This is my house. Wearing a long robe and slippers, Joan Meyer uses a walker to cross the room as she goes face to face with the officers. Yeah. She is co-owner of a family owned small town Kansas newspaper that was also raided by police in a case that's caused an uproar over freedom of the press. Get out of my way. I want to see what they're doing. Well, they're working. Joan Meyer died the day after the police raid. Now her son, co-publisher Eric Meyer, is speaking out to Inside Edition about the shocking video. It was like the Medellin cartel was being taken down. She fought back with her words. What did she do? Yes, well, she called them a few names that you probably wouldn't be able to use on air. She was a formidable woman. She wanted them to leave her alone. She'd done nothing wrong. This was her safe place. As fiery as she is in the video, she was that despondent afterward. The police had a search warrant looking for a computer. Did the stress of the raid kill her? Oh, I certainly think so. Yeah. Yep. So um, that's what that's what happened to our people, um, and uh, they raid our house and they killed this lady. Okay, she died. You know, we really don't care, and you people are suffering what we used to suffer. So great glory, and we're pretty much done, beloved. And again, so much going on. If I go on YouTube right now. It'll be something new there. Um, what else? Oh, no, that's not my other YouTube thing. It's not my other channel. That's my other channel, uh, which uh, there is more you know, garbage stuff going on. That happened a year ago. We watched that. It happened while in one of our ESOS Trouble video. Now that thing got 13 million views. You know, so, yeah. There we go. Yes, beloved, uh, we had a great time together. And as you can see, the things going on out there are real. Our duty, our message here is to be at peace. There will be no Jacob's trouble. We are not here to bring fear mongering. We are not here to bring the people in a low vibration. We are here to tell you to read other books, 
read historical books, read other books the Catholic Church did not approve or the book that specifically they forbid you to read. You can start with the book of Jasher. You can go listen to it on YouTube. It's pretty much everywhere. You can listen to the Apocrypha and then watch the watch the videos. Uh, the book of uh, the book of the greater key of Solomon, the lesser key of Solomon, the testament of Solomon. Yes, you need to read those books. Do not be afraid of knowledge. It's just book. You're not going astray. You simply are studying, watching, meditating, and try to comprehend things. When you are waking up right now, one of the major thing you must do is to know your guardian angel. Now, let me make this perfectly clear, beloved, okay? To know your guardian angel, you will need your birthday. We can do that for you for, for free. We can tell you the name of it. We'll send you a PDF. You will look into the PDF and you will see your date of birth and you will see the guardian angel. Now, how do you communicate with it? How do you talk to it? How do you activate it? How do you get it into a pentacle? Uh, things like that. If you need a full spiritual background, we don't do reading. I can't do reading. I don't know how to do reading. Okay, a reading is uh, when you go to someone and they tell you your future. I can't tell you that. I have no idea what's going on in the future for you. But I can tell you what kind of power you are packing, what kind of celestial family that you have, and what you can do with your guardian angel, and you can start training. And then you will move up just like we are moving up right now. Uh, if you wish, you can join us. There is a button in our... Uh, in our... There we go. In our YouTube channel, if you go to... If you type Big Levi, or if you are watching this... And oops, okay, let's see our latest video. Well, you can't you can't watch the oh. Well, the live, or the other live that we are having, you can't see them here. They are for um. We have many other lives, but they are only for um. They are only for members so you won't see it here but if you watch our latest video for instance this one okay let's stop this you can click on join and then uh, you can choose to be a neophyte a student a gravis and try templum but if you are a neophyte you can only read with us uh, if you're a student you'll be able to join our zoom meeting and hang out with us and things like that gravis special stuff and try templum beautiful things yeah that's where the thing at okay so you can become a member there study with us privately we study almost every night or you can go to patreon all right you can go to patreon and then you become a member over there in patreon okay um and and patreon we have uh, the, the the books that we studied okay all the um, the, the the pictures and certain things we discuss privately okay the certain homeworks we give privately because we have a school we give homeworks we do things we study things privately okay so we we ask if you want to uh, become a member of our patreon uh, that's the perk you're going to receive those beautiful pictures that you can print or you can put on your social media, or you can put on your phone, or you can do whatever you want. You can make video with them. Uh, you can do anything that you please to do. Okay, we have a lot of beautiful stuff. You can check those things, and all the lessons that we have down there. We study uh, almost every night. We have the Zoom meeting and things like that. Uh, we have all our brethren and sisters over here in the Zoom meeting that if you're a neophyte then again you won't be able to join uh, the zoom meeting you have to be at least a student and uh, to go uh, above and see those things okay uh, this is our concept of cars that we're trying to build and well their concept okay so uh, judah you know riding the line and things like that so we have all these beautiful images and uh, you can go ahead and download them. You can have them for 
well it's not it's not it's not free <laughs> gotta download them and things like that but anyway if you wish to get a full background check you can check us we will send you the email and uh, we will send you the information it's not free beloved okay it, it requires a lot of uh, concentration a lot of research those things are not things you just find in one book those are information that come unto us intuitively we are still in uh, the face of writing the books the books should be published around december or january we don't know yet because there's so much going on in the book what you're going to find you're going to find primarily the way how to do your own spiritual background and on anyone and then how the way to start training because uh, uh, we just graduated from middle school we are now in high school and high school that's what we are doing and then uh, after high school we'll go to college we're talking about an up on a, a spiritual level okay a lot of you 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 are in middle school right now the moment you agreed there's no jacob's trouble this is esau's trouble you're no longer sitting with uh prep school there uh kindergarten and um elementary is middle school well you're in middle school you no longer be with those elementaries and those people that stuck with one book or a few books 86 book 80 books you don't have a limit on book. You read every book. Okay, so you graduate. And you're going to do a hell of a lot more stuff. Things that are going to scare you. The only one will test you, man. It will humble you. Okay, and, and if you wish to start doing those things, we will write this book. We'll put instruction how you're going to practice certain things. A lot of you will buy this book. You will put it down because it's, it's going to be heavy. So we're in the process of developing that. Um, we may release we may not release we don't know so and if you wish to know this all uh, your background uh, your spiritual background check all you have to do is send us an email uh, big levi that uh, at gym uh, big levi priest okay it's it's over oh that's not what that is oops there we go uh okay big levi there we go. You can check. You can send us an email at biglevipriest at gmail.com. It's pretty much everywhere. And uh, you can contact us through the other email too, which is, uh, well, for Zoom meeting only. But you can contact us for uh, at alone together 12 tribes at gmail.com. But that's for Zoom meeting. If you, that you have to be a member to join our Zoom meeting because we don't discuss things uh, like publicly anymore send us an email and we will help you if you can afford it we will do it for you and we will receive a pdf with who are you what house you come from who's your guardian angel what is the function of your guardian angel who's the six cosmic family that you have what's your color what's your day what's your perfume or cologne what's your metal what's your flower what's your birth tree what's your birthstone What's your uh, what's your characteristic? What do you have in your arsenal? Always begin with the things that are closer to you. That's all that you will have. And many other things you're going to have in, in the PDF. If you wish to do so, send us your full name. If you're a woman, not your married name, the name that you were born with. Your full name, your date of birth, and a photo of you. And then we will tell you the price. And then we will start going and get your stuff ready so you can get things ready that is if you are called to do this that is if it is in your spirit we do not recommend anyone to do that we do not recommend because the information is so heavy okay there are certain one of you will find out certain things about you it's really heavy so if you're about that life good but if you're not too sure don't touch this don't mess with that shalom